Chronic wasting disease, or CWD as it is commonly called, is a progressive fatal nervous system disease known to infect white-tailed deer, mule deer, elk, moose, and reindeer. Though it shares features with other similar transmissible disorders, like the bovine form, which we know as mad cow disease, CWD remains a distinct disease known at this time to only naturally affect members of the deer or cervid family. It is caused by a deformed self-multiplying protein, or prion, which slowly damages the animal's brain and nervous system, resulting in symptoms ranging from pneumonia to depression to paralysis, and always resulting in death. By September 2016, CWD had been reported in captive or free-ranging deer in 24 U.S. states and at least two Canadian provinces, as well as in South Korea and Norway. Both the U.S. Center for Disease Control and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency caution that meat from known or suspected CWD-infected animals not be used or consumed by humans. With more deer testing positive in more states and provinces, the disease is feared to be on the move. This is especially frightening for hunters and conservationists. No treatment is available for animals affected with CWD, and no vaccine is available to prevent infection. Contagious animals may not show any visible symptoms for years, but still spread the disease through direct contact with other animals, or by infecting the soil with waste products or carcasses. Infected soil can remain toxic for more than a decade. We know there will be no quick fix, but that doesn't mean that all is lost. State and provincial wildlife agencies are responding swiftly. Some common hunting practices have been banned in certain areas. For example, banning the use of bait to limit the number of deer gathering in potentially CWD-infected locales. Agencies are also mandating CWD checks for all deer killed in their state. And there have been culls, in some instances, designed to create eradication or buffer zones. Hunters can help too. First, by becoming informed, and subsequently, by knowing and following all regulations set by state and provincial wildlife management agencies, by taking precautions when field dressing and processing animals, by submitting animal heads for testing, and by properly disposing of carcasses and meat from CWD-infected animals. This threat to our deer populations, to our wild harvest, and to our well-loved traditions may not be going away anytime soon. But then again, neither are we. Hunters and wildlife management agencies must work in common cause to deal with this new and very real threat to our wildlife heritage. <laughs>